Hi there, it's Tracy, and today I'm participating in the latest Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop, which is organized by Justine. If you don't know Justine, be sure to check out her channel. She created the first in this series of video hops last year, so viewers like you can discover new crafters with smaller channels, like me. Be inspired, and maybe even find some new creators to follow. All you have to do is watch and click the link in the video description below to hop to the next video. Don't forget to give each video a thumbs up and comment at each stop because we have tons of prizes to give away. We also want to thank our fabulous sponsors who have donated prizes in support of this video hop to make it even more fun for you. Remember to hop and comment on all stops for your best chance to win one of our many prizes. The link to the next video is in the description below. I've also linked to Justine's video below so you can easily start from the beginning. For my card today, I'm using alcohol inks to create a fun background for this adorable lawn fawn get well before and after stamp set. I have the stamp set and matching dies for the whale image that I'll be using, some Yupo paper, stitched rectangle dies, alcohol inks in turquoise and aquamarine, some alcohol blending solution, and a camera lens puffer to help me move my ink around on the paper. I'm trying to create a panel of blue ocean water for my whale to swim around in. So using my craft mat to protect my work surface, I start by adding a drop of turquoise ink onto a half sheet of Yupo paper and then a drop of the blending solution. Using my puffer, I gently started pumping to move the ink around on the paper. Then I continued to another part of the paper and repeated the same process. As you can see, you need to try and move quickly once you drop the ink on the paper. And if you can keep the paper moving, it really helps you keep the ink fluid and not get a lot of harsh lines. The puffer is an excellent tool for moving the ink, but what I found is that you need to be gentle with your pumping and not get too close to the paper. The gentler your pumping is, the more feathery the inked edges are. I continue to drop ink and blending solution around the panel, filling in all the spaces. I'm relatively new to alcohol inks and I learned a few things as I was creating this panel. First, that too much of the blending solution can really wash out the color of the ink. Of course, you can always add more ink to the paper, but the more blending solution sitting on top of the paper, even the drop of inks added, will be less vibrant. Secondly, I didn't need to use both of my blue inks to create a multicolored panel. Using just the turquoise ink along with the blending solution, I was able to get enough variation of color to create my ocean. Once I finished adding the ink to the panel and I was happy with my ocean, I allowed the panel to dry just a little bit before adding some extra interest. My awesome friend Ashley Cornell did a neat technique in a video the other day that inspired my next move. She added a tiny bit of blending solution into a paint palette pan and using a small paintbrush she picked up a bit of the solution and then tapped it all over her project to give it a bit of interest. I did this with my pan and the results gave the appearance of bubbles in the water. I'll definitely be using this technique more on other projects because I love the way the paintbrush dispersed tiny droplets of blending solution that almost leave little, little spots on the dried panel. Alright, now that the background is done, I'm going to stamp, die cut, and color my whale image. I usually stamp in multiples just in case I make a mistake and need to color a second image. Any leftover die cuts I just keep in the folder with the stamp so they can be used on another project. The whale is so small I did some very simple coloring, just two shades of gray for the whale's body and two shades of blue for the ice pack on his head. The Copic colors I used are at the bottom of the screen, but I used T0 and T1 for the whale's body and B000 and B00 for the ice pack on top of the whale's head. So now I'm just going to go back in and add a bit more shading and add a little bit more depth to the image where I think it needs it. And then at the end I'm going to take my, my base color, so my T0 for the whale and my B000 for the ice pack, and just go over the image one more time just to blend it out. Okay. Now I usually tape my die cut to the image that I'm die cutting just to make sure it doesn't slip during cutting but I am going to go off camera and die cut the wheel with my Gemini Junior and then set the image aside. Next I stamped and white embossed the sentiment from the set with coordinating cardstock. 
I made sure I rubbed my embossing buddy all over the cardstock first so I didn't get little flecks of embossing where I don't want it. When you're using a bold color of cardstock, you really want to prep that area first so the powder doesn't stick where you don't want it to. Once again, off camera, I used my Gemini I use the to do some small cutting. stitch rectangle dies to cut my alcohol ink panel. And the sentiment was die cut using a sentiment strip die from My Favorite Things. To put the card together, I added foam tape to the back of the alcohol ink background. The sentiment strip was adhered directly onto the panel, and I finally put another piece of foam tape on the back of the whale. I love using lots of dimension on my cards. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe for even more inspiration. I'm also offering a giveaway on the video hop, so for your chance to win my prize package, leave me a comment here by June the 5th. Don't forget to visit all the other videos on the hop and make sure you like and comment for your chance to win one of the over 50 plus prizes being offered. All the product links are below and also on my blog where you'll find a link for the next stop on the hop and of course a link to Justine's blog where you can find the start of the hop if you like. Thanks very much for watching and happy hopping!